My name is Tal Danino. I'm a postdoc in Sangeeta Bhatia's lab at MIT. My research is to use bacteria as a way to treat cancer or diagnose cancer. It starts off in the field of synthetic biology, which is about engineering bacteria to produce different functions. So the way that we engineer bacteria is through the DNA. So we basically um, have machines that print out small pieces of DNA and we use these to amplify genes that exist in nature. And you can write down equations for how those um, genes and um, components will behave as a function of time or as a function of space. And from there you can think about building more complex circuits, building things like computers, and that's where we're going. We're really right at the beginning of this field. It's been known for um, a while now that bacteria can actually grow inside of tumor environments. The very first account of this was actually by accident. A female patient with a tumor on her neck came into the hospital and they put her in um, the bed of a previous patient who had a bacterial infection. And it turns out that her tumor actually got some bacteria in there. And what happened is the tumor stopped growing. Since then, we've understood the mechanisms by bacteria getting into tumors. And once they're in there, they only grow in the tumor environment. They don't grow anywhere else in the body. So what we want to do is build sophisticated programs in bacteria that allow them to deliver drugs within the tumor environment. So if you think about chemotherapies, these get delivered to every cell in your body and you just hope that they kill the rapidly proliferating cells, like the tumor cells, more than they kill your normal cells. But with bacteria as a delivery device, they only deliver these drugs to, to right inside the tumor. What I did in grad school and the image is based on is uh, engineering bacteria to communicate with one another. Quorum sensing is a way for bacteria to sense their own density. So what we actually did is take quorum sensing from a naturally occurring bacteria and copy that piece of DNA and put it into our bacteria. And that allowed our bacteria, even though they don't normally do this kind of quorum sensing, um, allowed them to communicate with one another. What you can see is, is the colony reaches a certain size and that's at a level when the bacteria have communicated enough, they've produced a lot of this quorum sensing molecule that allows them to sense each other and, and they um, produce a burst of GFP. And as they grow further in this sort of circular shape, they burst again and again and again. And what you see in this picture is the second burst and you see this beautiful corona-like structure um, and that's why we called it the supernova is because people thought it had a lot of resemblance to a supernova exploding. It is actually like pretty simple. You would just replace this um, GFP molecule with a therapeutic. Bacteria can make all kinds of therapeutic. It can be like a small RNA or a protein, all kinds of small molecules. Actually, a lot of chemotherapies originally came from bacteria, so um, they can obviously make those. What like, excites me the most is actually that you can build things that have not existed in nature. And that's the most fascinating thing to me because um, you, know, you come in every day in the lab and you get to build something that nobody's ever built before. And that's um, something that's very fulfilling. <laughs>